And now we have our token uh, person from the religious community. Uh, I'm very pleased to uh, welcome to the podium Rabbi Dan Fink from Congregation Ahavath Beth Israel. Thank you all for the opportunity to be to be here. I love the introduction, free thinkers, atheists, the, the long list of terms, and uh, ending with godless heathens, I think. Uh, so I feel very proud and, and joyful uh, to be welcomed by the godless heathens. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, as I was walking up here, I was walking alongside a group of people who are heading to the day of prayer inside. And I overheard one say to the other as the rain was falling on them, do you think that God is crying for our country? And I thought to myself, I think that whatever power there may be, if that power is weeping, the weeping is because those who claim to speak in her or his name have divorced themselves from reason, walked away from reason, stood in opposition to reason, and that those who have been elected to lead our state are standing with those who stand in opposition to reason. There's a... There's a old Jewish concept called chutzpah. It's a Yiddish word. The classic definition of chutzpah is a child who kills his parents and then throws himself on the mercy of the court as an orphan. That's that that that's the definition of chutzpah. <laughs> but in Jewish in Jewish tradition, we embrace chutzpah. Chutzpah is a kind of proud audacity. So I really salute all of you for having the chutzpah to be here on the steps of the Capitol and to say that what this state and what this nation really needs is a loud and clear voice of reason. And that those who would walk away from reason... and leave things to prayer. And often, in the case of those who I suspect are inside praying, prayer for the perpetuation of injustice and of exclusion. That's the real chutzpah. That's the real brazen audacity. That's the real audacity that runs against the principles upon which this nation was founded. This was not founded as a Christian nation. This was not founded as a religious nation. This was founded as a nation under principles of reason. And it is our task to work together to get back to those roots that made this country great. By way of conclusion, I want to just note that in my tradition, in the Hebrew, the division between prayer and reason is not so stark and even painful as it is with those inside today and those of us standing out here. The Hebrew word to pray is lehit palel. And what Lahit Palel really means, based on the tense and the conjugation of the verb, it really means to reflect to oneself. So in my tradition, when we pray, what we are essentially doing is looking inward, reflecting upon our own lives, our own paths, and those who are gathered around us as we do so. May we on this day in which we affirm the primacy, the centrality of reason, 
look inward, individually and together in community, and then so reflecting, move forward together. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Rabbi Dan.